at 6 o'clock. We'll go ahead and uh, call into order and welcome guests to Call the road to the Stoutless Quorum. Chairman Clemens. Here. Commissioner Watson. Here. Commissioner Martin. Here. Brother Sam Hollis is here to do our invocation. And our, our corner, Jeremy Kilpanker, is going to do our Pledge of Allegiance tonight. Father, we thank you for the privilege of living in America. We thank you for our leaders, and we pray that they will always be men of integrity and character. And we pray they'd have your divine wisdom and guidance to lead. We know there are so many challenging issues that has to be dealt with. And pray that they will be led and guided by you. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Number three, approve the minutes of May 17th, 2022 meeting and May 26th, 2022 special call meeting. Appropriations, expended years, personal actions, payroll, requisitions, and approve all journal entries to be posted. I make a motion we approve item three. Mr. Chairman, I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passed. Number four public comments and updates. Go ahead, ma'am. Go to the mic. Go ahead, Jenny. I'm Judy Sneed. Um, I have it on my phone because I told them three minutes. So if I said, let's go feed the dogs, where am I going if I live in Coleman? We're going to Sportsman's Lake, and that's what I'd like to talk about today. I'm Judy Sneed, and I'm the owner of Sneed's Farmhouse. I'm a nonprofit educational petting farm. Our mission is to give back what has been given to us. I want to offer my services and time for the Sportsman's Lake injured ducks. I want to help. I will house the ducks and take care of them until they're able to return back to the lake. I approached Sportsman's Lake first and they were not responsive. So I'm coming to you. I've been on Fox 6 News and Bama Buzz was written an article regarding Steve's Farmhouse raising the funds to rescue these ducks. I've raised $1,300 at this point, but that's not enough. I need roughly $4,000 to get started. 2700 is for the rescue center and they will be named after Sportsman's Lake. $400 is for a vet bill that I've already incurred from them calling me to rescue the duck. $400 is for the run and $250 is for the medicine cabinet plus the vet bills for the animals. I'm asking for your help. I would like the commissioners to agree for me to do all the fundraising for Sportsman's Lake injured ducks. I would like to set up a booth at Sportsman's Lake to raise the funds and advertise on social media through the Sportsman's Lake Facebook page. I will do all the work and fundraising on the premises, pick up and return the ducks along with taking them to the vet and housing them until they are healed and able to return back to the lake. All I'm asking for you to do is for, to agree for me to fundraise on their page and at the lake. We can either set up an account in Sportsman's Lake name and all the funds can go in there or I can do it all through my farm, which is a nonprofit 501c3 farm. I'd rather the money go into y'all's account and then I bring you the receipts as the ducks go to the vet and so forth. Keep in mind that I've already rescued three of the ducks. Let me give you one example. Quacky Jackie was a, a hen that came to my farm. She was attacked by a duck on the lake from a duck from a dog that was not on a leash when she came to me she was holding up one leg i took her to the vet she had gangrene set, set up in her leg and she spent three days in the vet and i had to have her leg amputated but to turn that into something positive quacky jack is now fixing to go into rehabilitation centers to um, encourage other amputees to not give up that's just one example. 
I have a large following. I've been on Absolutely Alabama with Fred Hunter and I just hit the cover of the Alabama Living Magazine. Over 500 people have visited my farm since January. Most of them are not even from Coleman. I'm bringing business to the Coleman area. I think a mutual partnership would be greatly beneficial to the Coleman County. Let me help you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Anyone else want to speak on public comments? I just want to extend my appreciation to the commission as well as to everyone else that was here. And um, we appreciate the thoughts and the plans and trying to work together um, in order to help with the transportation problem in Coleman County. Have anything else that I want to address at this time? I'll go back, get my ducks in a row, and get my <laughs> schedules to y'all, and I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sherry. Uh, I want to recognize two of our new commissioners here tonight. Uh, Corey Freeman will be working, serving District Four, and then Kelly Duke will be serving District Three. Thank y'all so much for coming. Out. And I think they take off. Is it, is it November the 10th? Something, something first. First. Uh, maybe uh, yeah, maybe yeah, the yeah, first one around the 10th. Yeah, 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 first one's so back. back. Thank y'all for yeah. coming. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. first. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Hello, my name is Lady Dotson. <laughs> when I was younger and I studied and found that there's a way for me to live on my own and a way for me to work on my own. I've been riding carts uh, for 25 years and uh, I would suggest that you have no way of getting around. Just give the carts a call and let them take it from there. They send the bus when I ask them to, and they're there at the time when I need to pick it up. And it's just miraculous.
Thank you for letting me share. Thank you, Joyce, for letting me. I've got one more public update. Uh, our July 4th celebration this year will be July 4th. It'll be on Monday. Uh, the celebration starts at 9 p.m. I want to thank the commission. We voted on that this year to be free to all the citizens across Cumberland County, uh, Smith Lake Park, uh, to due to celebrate their 50th year anniversary of the park being open. So if you ain't got nothing to do that Monday, so come out and celebrate. We would love to have you, so thank y'all. We'll move on to new business. <clears throat> a recognition of Philip Bateman retiring after 18 years of service with the road department. Come on up, Philip. <laughs> Come on up. Here's a picture in front of you. Oh, yeah. Rehabilitation at Stony Lonesome OHB Park and authorize the chairman to sign and start the bidding process. Well, Mr. Chairman, Commissioner, uh, mm -hmm. as it says in here, it's pretty self explanatory. This is the RTP grant that we got at the OHB Park Stony Lonesome. This is just to authorize us to start the bidding process on those two bridges. One of them has already been destroyed and we're going to replace it, so they only have one way in and out to access into the park and then the uh, other one would be replaced. I think if any specific questions about those bridges to, to Brian, but I think with cement being an issue right now, and I think the earlier we get going on it, the better and we could maybe uh, start, uh, I think maybe Brian shoot for maybe a little bit the fall or something. He may have some, uh, after we get paving and stuff done. And stuff. Yeah, the biggest thing is uh, delivery of the actual bridge structures themselves, especially with all the delays and um, supply chain. We just want to try to get this way out ahead so we can be ready to construct and finish those bridges in the fall after we're completed with their paving season. Are these going to be prefabbed? Oh, yes, sir. They'll be uh, built in modules, so all we've got to do is just put for the uh, footings and the, set of the walls and then just set them on there. Yes, and this is a full frame on this. Is that correct? Yeah, we had we had to separate both of them. Yeah, Shane's already got done through some equipment. Yes. This is the actual bridges and some other uh, 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 rehabs of the trails they had down there. We we're doing in time. Okay, we're going to do it, so we're we're gonna gonna do it in time yeah. about our yeah. hours and exactly. some other things exactly. like that. Okay. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, make a motion to approve item B. Mr. Chairman, I'll second that motion. I don't think we're saying aye. Aye. Thank you, Brad. C resolution 2022-52 award bid to a mere sale of Ohio Incorporated for taxiway pavement maintenance at the Cumberland Regional Airport in the amount of 142,540. Uh, Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, this was a bid that uh, Goodwill Mills and K Wood actually left and they have reviewed the bids and the, the low bidder on this project was Amerisil and that they're recommending the city and the county would approve because of the joint ownership. 
Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve that. I'll second that motion. I'll make a motion to say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? Passed. D, Resolution 2022-53, Library of Personnel Inclusion and County Payroll System. Uh, Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, this is a uh, resolution that would bring the, currently we have some library employees that are under our personnel system, some that are not. Several years ago, the commission was trying to uh, separate from different boards and so that, that move was made to uh, not bring on any more library personnel. Um, the way that the library was set up under the state law that it was set up under, legally we, we can't separate uh, and create a separate entity there under the structure that it's under. So the existing library employees are not able to participate in RSA. Uh, this would bring them under our personnel system, allow them to participate in RSA, we already budget about $330,000, and they're having to pay for separate services outside to do payroll, um, employment tax, and that sort of thing. So there'll be some savings from not having to do that. We'll, we won't, we'll no longer send them those funds. We'll keep them here in the house. And um, there should be a pretty good offset for those services. The, the excess cost will be the retirement portion, and then um, we will bring them in our health insurance but it, it's only two additional employees. Yes, that's all I have there too. Yes, sir. The part, there are several part-time, but they stay below the 19 hours. Yes, I appreciate you, John, for working with RSA and all this on this. I know you spent a lot of time. Thank you for your time. We have. Emily's worked on it. Yeah, Emily's worked, worked on it. Worked on it yeah. So we appreciate all the, all the work. Make motion to approve item D. Mr. Chairman, I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passed. E, public carrying carts operations for FY 2023. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to motion to public hearing. I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jarvis. Mm -hmm. um, carts is doing an <coughs> annual application for administrative operations and capital money through the section 5311 for federal money's assistant for the FTA for non-urbanized public transportation for fiscal year 2023. This will be the first year that we've uh, not had CARES Act money to figure in our budget, so it hurts. Um, but we knew it was going to go away at some point. Um, Pre-COVID, we were providing around 80,000 trips a year. Right now, we're at 30,000 a year and growing every day uh, as we add stuff back. So hopefully we'll get back to the 80,000 and break it and keep going up. Uh, I'd like to open the floor at this time for discussion questions uh, from the you gentlemen, the commissioners, as well as the public. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to close. I'll uh, second that motion. Mm -hmm. All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Any opposed? Passed. Okay. Okay. Resolution 2022-54 authorized local matching funds for cards. FY 2023 and authorized the chairman to sign all related paperwork. I'll make a motion to approve item the bill. Mr. Chairman, I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passed. G, Resolution 2022-55, authorized the filing of 5311 grant application for cards and authorized the chairman to sign all related paperwork. Mr. Chairman, i make a motion to approve item G. I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passed. H, Resolution 2022-56, change speed limit to 15 miles per hour on Kenner Road 713. Is this the third road? That's the third road, right? That's what I was going to say. Yes, I believe so. And it's also a very short dead-end road, uh, and it's too narrow for anything above. Is a scoop bus or anything above here? Uh, 
I'm not aware. I believe maybe some of the garbage trucks might actually go, go down the road. Because you have a state mile. It's school buses you have got about five miles an hour slow, like speed limit is. But it looks like it's very short. It's, uh, that probably wouldn't have to go very far. I probably couldn't build up the speed. To, <laughs> the kids speed even within five miles of the 15, as short as it is. <laughs> Do Make a motion to approve out of the mail. I mean, hey, excuse me. Mr. Chairman, I'll second that motion. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Yeah. Opposed? Passed. Aye. Resolution 2022-57. Post no crew probes on Canada Road 623. Yes, Mr. Chairman, um, <clears throat> we've recently resurfaced this roadway and as you know, County Roads 715 and 702 are on the County Transportation Plan to approve those roads. And what is going on here is there's a lot, as you know, there are a lot of uh, significant amount of construction and new subdivision development over in that area. And to prevent, um, prevent that traffic from using this road as a cut through, it's really not a, it's not a significant improvement on that route for them to cut through there. but to decrease that amount of truck traffic from doing uh, or causing early deterioration or damage to that roadway, uh, I would definitely recommend uh, approving this resolution to limit it to mostly passenger uh, roadway. And also, there's uh, a large amount of houses along that roadway. I would definitely recommend approval of this resolution. To, uh, I think it would be very beneficial to the public to limit this to only passenger or local residential deliveries. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to approve out of mine. I'll second that motion. If all in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passed. Jay, authorize the chairman to sign the Alabama Department of Youth Services Agency grant agreement for FY 2022 2023 in the amount of $153,888. As a physical agent of the law of the Jane, how you do? I'm good, thank you. I do appreciate that support. Um, we already received four grants, and we are the Coast Guard be for Lauderdale, Coleman, Blunt, and Jackson counties, and they're just changing a provider on this, and so it still remains the same, the same money. Like most of the program, Jay. Mr. Chairman, I'll second that motion. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passed. K authorized the EMA director, Tim Sarkin, to apply for the grant in the amount of 25000 with the Alabama Department of Public Health to purchase supplies or equipment for the state mortuary operations response team and sign all the ready paperwork. Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, um, Tim Sarkin asked me to speak on this. He is carrying a load of youth to youth camp. So I said I would gladly do this instead of that. Um, so this is the State Mortuary Response Team grant. It's 100% grant. We are sort of a central hub for that in North Alabama. And it's, it's something we've done every year. And he's just asking for approval. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve out. Okay. I'll second that motion. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passed. They will authorize the purchase of a blue remote operated vehicle ROV through CCCDC grant in the amount of 11146 authorized the corner to sign all related paperwork. All right, so it's actually Blue Robotics Blue RV2 is, is the name of it. It is a remote operated vehicle that is will operate at 330 feet, comes with 492 foot of uh, cable and has a 360 degree sonar, which is something that is definitely needed in the lake and it does have a uh, single function manipulating arm. It's just one of the many tools that's needed to help facilitate underwater search recovery and spin forward. Uh, like I said, it's $11,146. I received the grant from Triple C DC, and deposited debt at checking the general fund. Um, and the shipping is actually $88.04, uh, which I'll cover that out of my uh, budget. And just the knowledge approval $2,000. Make a motion to approve by item Mr. Chairman, I'll second that motion. Thank you, Jeremy. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passed. Jeremy, we truly appreciate what you did. Thank you for that. So, yes, thank sir. you. 
he don't consider approval of advertising space and Smith Lake Park signs and not right to cheer and sign all related documents. Mr. Chairman, this is just an opportunity for anyone who wants to advertise on our Smith Lake Park signs. It's just a general contract if you want to enter into it and for a fee, they would be allowed to advertise on the sign. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve that. I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. 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 <clears throat> Opposed, passed. <clears throat> and consider appointing him Commissioner Kerry Watson to the ACC Legislative Committee. Well, Mr. Chairman, this is the annual Legislative Committee appointment. Um, Commissioner Watson <coughs> uh, volunteered to, to do this. Make most more proof out of me. I'll second it myself, Mr. Chairman. I'll second it myself. Any opposed? Passed. Oh, consider approval of Salva Safety Contract to provide CDL training to Cullman County employees and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. And it will allow more opportunities for employees to have their CDL. Yeah. But it's actually to meet the requirements. Right. Yeah. And he's a backup that system set up at the right. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's required now, but yeah, yeah. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve that. I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Aye. P. Consider the purchase of the 2023 Freightliner M2-106 raffle truck for the road department in the amount of $231,367.41. Authorize the chairman to sign all related paperwork. Mr. Chairman, uh, this is something we've been working on for a few months yes, now. We yes. finally got the one that would fit our budget and fit our needs for our new uh, roadside uh, removal of trees and cold electric cloth and whomever has to drop it. Thank you for all your hard work on that. I appreciate it, Shane. We've been doing this a long time. It. You're right. Uh, make a motion to approve item P. Mr. Chairman, I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passed. Q. Consider authorization for cub and caring for kids to use the board education parking lot to host a car show on November 12, 2022, from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. I'll make a motion for you. I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passing. Our ratify payment of landfill charges for May 2022 cleanup program in the amount of $22,075.43. Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, this is related to the free day of the dump. Uh, that was approved in the past, and, and the payment to the landfill for those. Is, is over ten thousand dollars so it can be approved in this action that's not too bad for a whole month or yeah, you know you're the people sitting down and right uh make most of approved by item all mr chairman i'll second that motion all in favor say aye aye, aye. any opposed passed as ratify signature on agreement to sell previously approved 2019 kit pm 310 milling machine for the water department Mr. Chairman, the commission already approved selling this and uh, surplusing this. Shane was able to sell that and receive more than we actually were guaranteed. So we have, I don't remember the exact amount. 230,000 is what the return on that was. But we need a, a approval to sign that agreement. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve that. I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. T. Ratify insolvents, eras, and taxes and litigation for 2021 and uncollected insolvents and taxes and litigation for the previous years of the Cullman County Revenue Office and authorize the chairman to sign. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, this is an annual event where there are insolvents, errors, things that people uh, may not have paid on their property taxes. 
small amounts and there's a report in your file and it just has to be approved every year. I'll make most will approve out too. Mr. Chairman, I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passed. You bid number 1395 award B option number two to Willoughby Roofing. Sheet Metal Incorporated to complete re roofing project for the 402 Arnold Street property in the amount of $131,400. Mr. Chair, this is Coleman County Office Building, also known as Board of Education. Uh, we received, I think, six bids. Uh, Willoughby's uh, one to bid local contractors, and this will be a PVC new roof. It's a new, new product, I guess. They've used it. We just don't have a building. So if it's new to us, not the only thing. Thank you, Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve out. No, I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passion. <laughs> B, bid number 1397, award bid to Mitch Ness Chevrolet for 2024 size SUV for probate in the amount of $37,900. Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, this um, also should state that these funds, this is being paid for from the probate judge discretionary fund, but it had to be bid, and so this is to award the bid, and it will be 100% paid from the probate judge's discretionary fund, no general fund. That motion will approve by B. Mr. Chairman, I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Passed. W. Bid number 1398 award bid to CTS Software for dispatch software and first year annual maintenance and support for carts in the amount of $56,555. Mr. Chairman, you can take it. You walked up here now. <laughs> <laughs> um, this software will really be great. It will enable us to run more smoothly, more efficiently, and be able to keep up with everybody better. And it does a lot of the uh, billing. And it just does a lot of stuff. It'd be great if we can get it. Thank you, Joe. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to put it out of the yeah, this is just this is not an annual contract for a, a maintenance or anything. This is just a purchase. No, contract. Right. And we can we can cut it at any time. Okay. You know, Thank you. Yeah. 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 Uh, I second that motion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed? Aye. Nice. X bid number 1399 award bid to Terry Slats Chevrolet for one or more four before the crew cab trucks. For the water department in the amount of fifty-six thousand five hundred sixty-eight fifty. Mr. Chairman, this will give us the ability to. Uh, this is one or more. They only had one available at the time. Uh, they have the possibility of getting uh, up to two more. Uh, so this will give us the ability to go ahead and purchase those two when they come in instead of having to wait for them. And we might get them by May yeah, next maybe. year. Maybe. Is no, this half tons trucks? I'm sorry. Half tons. These are four fifties. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. 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 And also to add to that, the these are the trucks that were already approved to buy from one of the co-ops. Yes. And yep. we couldn't get them yeah. in right. November before we could get them. So we will cancel that if we can get these. Make motion we approve out of the Mr. Chairman, I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Six, the next commission work session will be Tuesday, July 19th, 2022 at 4 p.m. in the commission meeting room. Seven, the next commission meeting will be Tuesday, July 19th, 2022 at 6 p.m. in the commission meeting room. Can we get a motion to adjourn? Mr. Chair, I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that motion. Mr. Chairman, I'll second that motion.